The Small Creature, read by Gloria Honeyford for the British Heart Foundation. Once upon a time, deep in the heart of a faraway forest, there lived a small creature. He was a very small creature, in fact, with a small furry body, large round eyes, and rather tiny feet. Small creature lived in the forest, but he was never afraid because he had bird. Small creature loved bird. Whenever he felt a little sad, she would always visit and sing a most beautiful song to cheer him up. Small creature was so happy that bird was always there. He would snuggle into bird's soft feathers and say, Bird, we will always be together, won't we? And bird would answer, Yes, we will always be together. Now one day, small creature woke up feeling sad and called for bird. Bird! Bird? But there was no answer. He decided that bird must be hiding, so he started to search. Bird! Bird! Where are you? Why aren't you here? Still bird did not appear. Small creature suddenly felt very scared. His insides went all wobbly and he felt a little sick. Where was bird? He searched and he searched. until he was deep inside the forest. There he felt all shaky and scared. Bird! Bird! Is that you? Who are you looking for? asked Squirrel. I'm looking for Bird. She must be here somewhere. I'm sorry, said Squirrel. Sometimes our friends go away to a place that we cannot go to. It may have been time for Bird to go to that place. But she must be here. I had lots of things I wanted to say to her, and now she won't know. Don't worry, Chirrup Squirrel. I can help you. We can make a special message chain to tell her everything. Squirrel helps small creature draw pictures and write words to Bird on large tags. Now we can put them somewhere that was special to Bird. Trees, shouted small creature. Bird loved trees. Soon, the whole tree was full of messages. When the wind blows, it will take all your messages to Bird, and Bird will know how much you loved her and miss her. I will always be here if you need my help or if you feel scared. Oh, thank you, Squirrel. And Small Creature felt a little bit better. He searched and he searched. Until he reached a rocky place. and a feeling started to grow in his belly. A hard, rocky feeling. He was angry, angry at Bird for leaving him. Bird, he shouted, why have you gone? Why have you left me? Why are you shouting, squeaked Mouse? Because Bird is gone and I'm all angry and scared and my belly feels sick, replied Small Creature. I'm sorry that your bird has gone, snuffled little mouse. You seem all angry and sad and upset. Perhaps I can help you. We can make you a memory wall. You can use these bricks to write or draw all the things that you feel about bird. 
It will make you feel better if you can get things out of your body. First he scribbled hard again and again to show how angry he was. Then he drew little pictures of bird and finally some sad tears and shaky, shaky lines because that was how his belly felt. Soon they had built a whole wall of his feelings. I will always be here if you need my help or if you feel angry. Oh, thank you, mouse. And small creature felt a little bit better. He searched and he searched. Until he got to the wild and windy sea. There he started to cry. Why are you crying, asked Fish? Because Bird has gone and left me, and I will never see her again. I have nothing left of Bird. I'm all alone. You do have something left, sang Fish. You have all your memories of Bird and all the love that she gave you. But I might forget, Bird. I might forget. Don't worry, said Fish. Perhaps I can help you. These are special memory buttons. Each one can be a memory of Bird. One was all blue and green, just like Bird's feathers. And small creature remembered how he would snuggle into those feathers and feel all warm and safe. Another was all red, and he remembered how one night he and Bird had made a fire, and Bird had told him a funny story. Soon he had a whole collection of bright, shiny buttons and bright, shiny memories. I will always be here to help you if you feel sad again. Oh, thank you, fish. And small creature felt a little bit better. Small creature knew it would be a very different world without bird like a big hole in his body. But he also knew that he had squirrel and mouse and fish to help him whenever he felt scared or angry or sad. He smiled a little smile and remembering his beautiful bird made his way back home. <laughs>